Peaceful days are ahead for residents of Block 333 Crater Iron Road as the 26 dogs living in this two-room flat will be rehomed. On Friday, volunteers from Action for Singapore Dogs, or ASD for short, took six dogs to a facility near Kranji. We are we're targeting this whole project to be in three phases. So this is phase one. So as you can see, we are kind of constrained by space. So what's going to happen is once the six are out, we're going to take another six in again. Uh, that's phase two, which takes another two more months, and then the third phase will be. Another six more dogs, or the balance of it, which takes another two more months. So a total of six months. The dog's owner had contacted ASD for help after learning about the group from a new paper reporter, who did the story on Monday, March 4th. She ended up with 26 dogs after taking in two unsterilized dogs. Thanks to the newspaper, they the, they were the one who came up and told me about ASD, and then that's when I started doing my research on them, emailing them. Yeah, exactly. I initially called out. Uh, and just sounded her out um, that I just was offering help. Um, there were, I think, initially a lot of concerns from her that uh, whether her dogs, what, where, where they were going to end up. It took me almost an hour or so just on the phone talking to her、um, before she agreed to a meeting. The two met for the first time on Wednesday and agreed that Ricky and his team would help find new owners for the dogs. Actually, the first time, first time already, like. Within this one year, I, I really realized like I have to do something. But it's just that I didn't know where to go, where to ask for all this. I didn't want to ask SPCA I, because I know their conditions are not very good over there.、And、neither do I wanted to ask ABA because I know that、uh, sooner or later they said if the dogs are not healthy, they will just put them to sleep.、So、all this while we thought that oh we are not they are not going to get a good place to stay and stuff. That's why we were keeping them. But if they are confirmed going to get a good place, why don't we just give it a shot? The news also came as a welcome relief for Vijaya's neighbours. One of them is 37-year-old Janice Go, who lives above the flat. As actually, we can smell all the urine. Wow, very, very difficult. Lah, we always close our window. We did、uh, send email to HDB and say, "What's the outcome? How come? How come in a HDB flat you can have so many dogs, and then you all do nothing?" He said, "No, no, no. Actually, we give them legal letter. We do all this, but..." It's still the same. Trying ah, that that old mama, 每天就走走来，大便啊，小便啊，她不不肯出来洗啊。每天晚上她不知道去哪里做工，一点一点半就来，那门就开，开她的狗的声音，四级字啊，嗡嗡嗡嗡嗡，吵得要命啊。I know deep inside that it's very disturbing to the neighbors. I know, but、uh, every time when they tell me, I say, "I'm sorry. I'll just settle, try to settle things." Because it's very inconvenient for them. Also, it's really when up, upper floor, the one beside. I know. I understand how they feel, but it's just that I couldn't help help myself at that point of time. But now there's a solution. Means no problem. The ASD plans to hold an adoption drive by April so that the dogs can move from this temporary facility to new homes. Find out how things got so out of hand in our next clip.